Hello and a very warm welcome to Bangkok for the first of three days of live coverage of the 2019 Thailand Open. We're at the Plumark Indoor Stadium. It's quarter-final day here. An arena that can seat around about 6,000 fans open way back in the mid-60s. And it was renovated some eight years ago. It was actually built for the Asian Games originally. Now, all the events we have through the year are divided into categories, different level of tournaments. Today is a Super 500 event. In fact, there are seven of those throughout the season. We're now well over halfway, in fact, into the schedule. And there are some very big names in Thailand that you'll see over the next few days. Here's where we've been and also where we're going. Korea Masters, Syed Modi, the World Tour Finals. Some European stops as well in Denmark and France, all building up to those Guangzhou World Tour Finals just before Christmas. Well, let's check then on what we've got in store for you today. Kicking off with our women's doubles, featuring the world number one pair, Matsumoto and Nagahara of Japan. We've a men's doubles to follow that, two unseeded pairs. It's an Indian-Korean clash that features the exciting 18-year-old Satvik Saraj Rankireli. Following that, you'll see the number one seeds, Gideon and Sukumuljo, who needed three games to get through yesterday. Now Endo and Watanabe lie in wait. Two women's singles quarterfinals after that. The Chinese superstar Chen Yufei will start a massive favourite against Sonia Chea before the match that the home crowd are really looking forward to. Former world champion Ratchanok Intern carrying home hopes against the 21-year-old Chinese Chen Xiaoxin. Three more games after that as well. And you can see there we finish up with a couple of men's singles, including the exciting sixth seed Kenta Nishimoto. So keep it here for the next oh, eight or nine hours or so. Let's show you then how the women's doubles draw has panned out. The top seeds, as mentioned, Matsumoto and Nagahara, will be concentrating on their match against Duye and Li Yinhui in just a few moments' time. But as you can see, six of the eight seeds remain in the competition. So hard to call that one. This is the 16th tournament of the World Tour. And the prize pool, incidentally, is very impressive. $350,000. The winners in the doubles event picking up just shy of 28,000 as we get our first glimpse of the players. And let there be light. Decent crowd in yesterday and again today. And we're expecting very decent crowds over the weekend. Obviously a working day here. It's around about one o'clock in the afternoon, just gone local time. from Switzerland. 3-1 in the head-to-head. Interestingly, the Seeded eight here against the number one seeds. So let's give you a bit more information about some of these players individually. Starting off with uh, Mayu Matsumoto, there, 23. A great record this pair uh, this season 35 victories in the 45 matches that they've played. And they took down the Singapore Open which was uh, an S750 event. Pretty relaxed as well, Matsumoto and her partner, Wakana Nagahara, who's the same age. 
voted the most improved player of the year after winning the World Championships. And they actually improved their ranking, or have improved their ranking from 14 to 3. That was last year. Now they're up to 1 in the world. It's been a hugely impressive last 12 or 18 months. Needed three games in the first round, as you can see there, but normal service resumed to a, a certain degree in the second round. And what about their opponents from uh, China? Who yet? Just 21. They won the German Open earlier this year. That was a Super 300 event. And they nearly went all the way to in the Malaysian Open. In three. Five foot eight. She's a very competent mixed doubles player as well. A lot of success in mixed doubles. And these two have been together since uh, junior days. And a couple of medals, uh, a silver and a bronze, as a pair in the junior world championships. No problems so far for those two in terms of. Ready to play. Igor Castle of Switzerland is the man in the chair. And he will be assisted by Charles Wang of Chinese Taipei as the service judge. So just about, sir, we will be very shortly for this first quarter-final on our TV show court, for which that pair will start big favourites. But as you saw when we put that graphic up a few minutes ago of their previous meetings, they've had issues before against these two Chinese, so for a fascinating contest here as they battle for ladies and gentlemen the last four. on my right do you and Li Yunhui, China and on my left Wakana Nagahara and Mayu Matsumoto Japan Do you have to serve to Mayu Matsumoto? Love all. Play. So here we go. Do you have serving first? We do obviously have more play this weekend for this event. One so love. two challenges for each pair per game. And if they're successful, then they retain that challenge. Service over. In many ways, it one doesn't matter all. what the rankings say. When you've had issues against a, a pair previously, you just have that sometimes that nagging doubt in the back of your mind that they might have the evil eye over you. So I think it's important for the Japanese pair to win rallies like that and make a positive start here. Two, one. Oh. Yeah, picked off the serve very effectively. Might need a bit of variation. Two, all. Oh. That's a moto. 
this afternoon. their 50th match of the year in the course of this championship the Chinese bearing just long that is over and actually played Three. more matches oh. than the world number ones Over. Come to attack the Chinese Four, pair. Three. Over. Almost like Four. two boxers sparring oh. in the early stages here. But the attacking intent is clear from Du Yen Li in Hui. Whether they can sustain that kind of pressure or not, another matter. Good work at the net. Really good from Matsumoto. Five, four. Well, from the sublime to uh, a totally unforced Five. error. Oh. Oh. Well, there was not enough depth, anywhere near enough depth on, on that lift. And they were punished Six, for it. Five. And one thing, if you if you give Du Yer and Lee in any encouragement, they will invite themselves in and uh, bolt the door after them. And again, seven, five. from the crowd there I didn't expect yes. Nagahara would have missed that from well, pretty much mid-court see a five. frustrated reaction and all of a sudden a little breathing space for Duan Lee here Five. A little bit of head shaking going on in Japanese pair. That 
was a misjudgment. That was well in. Third over. Six. Nine. <laughs> well, I think initially uh, Lee was going to play it, and then didn't, and there's nowhere for do to go really. Play. Let's forget about it. But no question that the Chinese pair are the ones calling the shots at the moment, literally. Not just what the scoreboard says, but just the, the tone of the match up to this point. Ten, six. So a very handy lead at the uh, mid-game interval. They just need to keep focused and as far as Matsumoto and Nagahara are concerned, try and find a way to arrest the slide. Because they have been distinctly second best so far to this pair. Only eight minutes maybe, but... by far the more positive of the two pairs out there. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Coach, thank you. Eleven, six. Play. So it's all about the Japanese some encouragement. First service error. Pity it had to end like that because that was by a distance not just the longest but also the most entertaining rally Eight, of the match so far. 11. More than 60 shot rally. Uh, just a, a total misjudgment at the end of it. And those are the kind of points that can just start the momentum. You can see the frustration from Play. Lee. Lee. Again, that was that was in by a long, long way. Nine, eleven. So three successive points. So they came back from that mid-game break. Could be a little worrying for Doing Lee. Momentum switch very, very quickly in this sport. 
Toby Zolba. And that's a gift. 12-9. Oh. 13-9. Another Matsumoto error from the back of the court. Well, so far, it's their judgment that's been the weakest part of their game. That's three or four now. Ten, and 13. in all honesty, none of them have been that close to the line. If in doubt, play it. Since they needed that point, just to 14, 11. stop the flow of the Japanese pair, is threatening to get back into this opening game. Matsumoto read that from Duke. 12 15. for not much reward so far for the Japanese pair it's going to drift wide as well 17 12 it's a little bit of drift in the hall from right to left as you look and also front to back but starting to pull away again now Lee. That's a lovely shot there. All about Tell placement from Matsumoto. Drag both 13, the 17. Chinese to one side of the court. The shuttle went the other. But she's given herself the advantage in the two previous shots that she played. 14, 
17. And Dew was well wide of the mark, ultimately. Big point this, big difference. 17-15 or 18-14. Thought to play that. I'm sure she did, but they couldn't rescue the situation. Wipe the ball. So it's over. Got themselves back into the game and they yet still may 18, win it. But 15. Making it very hard for themselves. A couple of service errors now. Chinese within three points of taking this opening game. seal the deal ah! so there's no a it from Lee Sixteen, a little truth to 19. tell Actually, the younger pair, not by much, but they are. Because here are four game points. Game point 16. For the Chinese. Asking for help from somewhere. Every picture tells a story. They have been second best, but the Chinese have still got to <laughs> confirm this opening game. Over. Sometimes the hardest turtle is the last one. 17, 20. Well, they clearly still believe they can rescue it. Two match point, uh, two game points saved. Two still two save. Do can you check, please? Thank you. Wait was on the back foot initially. Lee had to adjust to get forward and just okay. about clear the net, but that was a very easy put Thank away you. for Matsumoto. Eighteen twenty. Oh! 
So the third time of asking, the Chinese pair seal the game 21 points to 18. First game won by Du Yu, Li Yunwei. You might Wei. think a slight surprise, just purely 18. based on the rankings, but as I mentioned earlier, they got a good record against the world number one pair. Just never really got going at any stage. Court one, of that opening 20 game. seconds. Court one, the top seeds. 20 seconds. Well, the Chinese took full advantage of it. <laughs> Wasn't for any lack of effort. Second game. But they need to turn things around here. Love all. Play. So Lee serving. Very quickly onto that. Three, nothing shot love. from Do, to be honest, but still had to capitalize. they were looking for four straight points to open up game number two for love Over. 
Well, it'll be a relief. One, to do five. Need to at least get on the board. Valiant defence while it lasted from Dewan Lee, but in Thumbs the end, over. pressure told. Six, Good hands again from two. Nagahara to adjust there. That wasn't quite as easy as it looked. Challenge this, I think. Moto challenges called out. I'm not sure this is going to be successful, but we'll wait for Hawkeye. First time we've had to call on the technology today. Unsuccessful, one challenge sure remaining. Worth the effort. Service over. Three, six, play. Service over. Well, that will hurt. Seven, three. Just when they were hinting they could get right back into the second game. Another service error. It's been a Bit of a theme so far, both pairs. Good anticipation initially, and then to have the over. skills Eight, to put it exactly four. where she wanted. Never any way that he was going to get across and get it back. Great defense from the Japanese, and they got their just rewards in the end. Nine, four. And a big shift in the, the whole tone of the match in the last five or six minutes.
Service so over. Well, that again was in by a very large margin. Five. I've seen a few nine. really bizarre errors of judgment. Wouldn't have been easy for Nagahara, but she might at least have swung a racket at it. Still in charge, though. Serving at 5 9. the case of the bite a bit because it looked for all the world as though Japanese pair were in charge of that rally Nine. and yet the Chinese end up with the point we're halfway up the net from Matsumoto Love, remember, they led, and now that deficit's down to just a couple of points. <laughs> oh, all her own work, Nagahara taking matters into her own hands there. 10 7. Set it up well. Very straightforward, put away on the backhand. Once again, that was good. Really wasn't that close. Service over, 11 8. Rich might be a bit disappointed with that. She was pretty close to the net, but it's a three point advantage at the mid game interval for Matsumoto and Nagahara. But the Chinese far from out of this. A little higher now, the Japanese flags, than they were in the first game. 12 8.
Service is over. Nine, twelve. Very well intercepted. Ten, Anticipation. Well. Put away was easy, but she was moving forward very confidently almost before Nakahara hit it. Within just a single point. 11, 12. All of a sudden, a few alarm bells ringing in the head of Matsumoto and Nagahara. Stuck in that point really well, the Japanese, because they were under so over. much pressure, sustained pressure, great defense. 13, 12. Chinese pair must be wondering how I didn't win the point. Gives you another perspective, doesn't it, that overhead camera? Service so over. Easy as you like for doing yeah there. Thirteen all. again in a lovely little turn of the wrist just to angle the shuttle away onto the sideline service over blow for blow though at the moment 14 Five points early on.
Wow. <laughs> After that fantastic error. Another error of judgment as that shuttle drops in. 15 all. Inside the line, in fact. So still nip and tuck in game two, but there's more pressure on the number one seeds having dropped the opening game and led by a big margin in this one. So it's over. And again, but they are going to challenge this time. I'm not sure if that's out of a genuine belief it was long or just sheer frustration at yet another miscalculation. Hawkeye will reveal all. Called in. Just got a piece of a line. Challenge. Unsuccessful. One of, challenge remaining. Plenty of Third carrots, those line judges. Eagle eyed there. 16 all. Play. Matsumoto, the Japanese sneak in front now. 10 a challenge and it looks a very confident one too his first impressions were that that hit the line but let's see what the technology says usually get a good idea when both players arms go up almost simultaneously every chance this is good wow maybe it was just wishful thinking no challenges remaining. Service over. And that was the second challenge, so no more for Matsumoto and Nagahara. Not in this game, anyway. And there may not be another. The Chinese pair have one challenge left. Play.
Love is over. Well, completely fooled Nagahara there. 18 all. And that service return. So which pair can hold their nerve? Right at the business end of game two. Long. Just had to adjust before she hit that. Lee, really look. Hey, just see. Wasn't in the best position to play it. Too much on it. Clearly, the wrong side of the line from her point of view. And now, a couple of points to level the match. Twenty. Game points, 18. And that was good. Okay. And that is the second game. By 21 points to 18. Game, one by so they've reversed Mayu the scoreline, reversed their Makana, fortunes, Nakahara, and we're all set up for a deciding 18. game here one game in this women's doubles quarter final. そう、Deciding game. Service over. One love. Whether this Japanese pair can regroup no. after disappointment of losing that second game, a game which they hauled themselves back into. And ultimately, I think would have been only disappointed to have lost it, but we'll forget about that now. Let 
is over. One, two. Do one able to do anything with the Nagahara shot? Nagahara's noticeably got stronger as the match has worn on. Really been a match of mega long rallies. Four, two. Yes. That 63 shot rally very early in the proceedings. That is a bit of a wild one. <laughs> well, who was the more disappointed? Lee will do that. Sudden, a little bit ragged from the Chinese. Take with the other. Six, three. an art form when you're not playing Four, the top of your game six. just to try and hang in there that's what do and Lee have to do right now the so levels just dropped a notch I think they played well at the end of the second game just came out on the wrong side of it
Well, eventually, there was no way for the Japanese Six. to repel. Oh, it's great defence until do found one that was just too good. Certainly losing the footing didn't help. Seven, six. Quick. Very quick. as hard as anyone's hit the shuttle all day. So it's Absolutely over. hammered. Seven. All. Natsumoto. Full flow with the jump smash. It was almost on Lee before she even knew it. I didn't hear a or see a, an outstretched arm from the line judge. How close this is. Not very close at all. Correction. Just miss the sign. <laughs> Almost allowed himself a, over. a right smile. Cassell. All. That was. Uh, Optimistic challenge to say the least. Play. So all tied up again at eight each. Service over. Didn't expect that to end up in the net. Nine.
10, well, this deciding eight. game has uh, swung first one way down the other. We're not even at the mid-game interval yet. is something like that. Nine, ten. Right at the body. No chance that Lee could adjust the racket in time to, to return it. Not been more than a couple of points in it at any stage in this decider. Over, 11 the Chinese have the advantage, 11-9 at the mid-session break. to have a, a loose few minutes here, the top seeds. Pointing 13, from the Japanese point of view, 10. every time they threaten to look right back into it, another error. from Matsumoto and Nagahara. This is where we really got to dig deep if we want to get back into this. Ah! That might get 
bit of a fillet. 11, 15, 11. Gahara scrambling in vain. But nowhere near it. Just about managed to get a frame on it in the end. Great deception. Consternation. It's got to be six or seven times. And those errors of judgment are costing them dear at the moment. Just the wrong time well. to go right off the boil. Matsumoto and Nagahara, number one seeds in big trouble here. Well, they've won the Singapore Open this year, it's a big event. point now is a, a massive point for well, for both pairs but Matsumoto and Nagahara Good to receive. got to play pretty much 13, error free badminton 17. from here It was uh, a little belated. Doesn't appear to be too much confidence there, but they may as well state the game's at. So over to Hawkeye. Called out originally and comfortably so. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. 18, 13, play. Ah! 
she had a couple of chances there, Lena, end that point early. Not able over. to take them. 14, 18. She wanted that. She really did. Service over. And the world number one pair and top seeds have one foot out the door here. Synchronized with the fist pump. 19, 14. there and here are six match 20, points match point for Julia Li and Hui take out the number one pair in the world Till the end. 15, 20. Okay. Wow. <laughs> what a kind of anticlimactic way to win it, but they'll certainly take it. 21-15 in the final game, and the number one seeds are out. Matsumoto and Nagahara taken down by Duya and Lee Yinhui in three games. And in truth, the latter Match part of that deciding game became increasingly one-sided. 18-21, 21-15. That's uh, rather summed up their afternoon. I believe what she's done. And they won't care how they achieved the victory, but it was certainly a deserved one. 21 18, 18 21, 21 15. an hour and 16 minutes on court. We're back with men's doubles in just a moment. Service over. One, luck.
Welcome back to Bangkok and our continuing coverage of the Toyota Thailand Open from the indoor stadium here at Hamark. Chinese player in the women's, so we've got Ranka ready in.